Hi everybody, so in video 1980 we made this. What it does is if you move that, it moves that. And that turns at a rate of knots, but we could get it to do better. To get it to do better, we're gonna use this. It's a 60 tooth cog. We're gonna replace this wheel with this. So it's a straightforward swap over. Now we can use this gear to increase the speed of this. And if we increase the speed of this, we're gonna increase the volts that it generates. Now, this is a 60 tooth gear. And here I've got a 20 tooth gear. If I match those up, so we've got the 60 tooth to 20 tooth, we've got a three to one ratio. That means that every time I turn this, once this turns three times. And so we'll get three times the speed out of that. But we will also get three times the torque requirement. So we're gonna to have to press this harder to make this go faster. But in order to do that, of course, put that gear there, what we need is some way of holding it. So in the Tinkercad file, you'll find this bit. You print that bit off and it goes right there. And you can see that what I've done is I've created a gear chain with the large cog that we replaced interfacing with the small cog. On the same shaft is another large cog interfacing with the small cog. So we get three to one and again three to one. So overall we've got nine to one because the gears multiply as you add them. So for every one movement of this, we'll get nine movements of this. That is every one turn, we get nine turns. And we could keep on going, but that looks like enough. Now, there is a left and right to this. So I've just put the one side on because the other side goes on later to stabilize everything. And I've left it off just so you can see it. Now you might notice a couple of other things. I've put a coil here in preparation for taking some kind of reading and this did snag here. So I put a heat gun on it and bent it out. Clearly I need to change the Tinkercad file so we get this bend in here so that we don't hit the cog but we now put this onto this shaft here and as I say we get nine turns of this for one turn of this we turn this by operating those levers and what we're going to do is see what kind of improvement we've got Okay, I've hooked everything up and I put the meter there so you can see it. I'm not going to be able to see it, so once I've done this, I'll stop and review the video and see what we got. But all I'm going to do is waggle this backwards and forwards, spin that, and we'll see what we get. Now, it's quite big and chunky, but that's because it's made out of plastic, and I worry about it wearing out and the forces snapping the teeth off, so I've made it big. But that gives it a sort of Ruth Goldberg kind of Heath Robinson look, which I personally like. But the principles are going to be the same, whether we make it nice and chunky like this, or we make it out of metal and all these gears are really, really tiny. We're still going to get the same kind of result. So let's waggle this and see what we get from that. Okay, that was kind of impressive, hey? We got more or less nine times what we got when we didn't have all the gears on. And it's no surprise because it's nine step ups. Now there's still a couple of issues with it. One is obviously when we stop doing that and leave that to freewheel, these still move. So an actual freewheel in there might be a good idea. It's now ready to put a full coil all the way around. Because remember this was in the section here, that would have been quite hard. Now it's kind of easy to put coils all the way around and putting a serpentine coil on it would be really cool. So if we do that, we'll get some pretty impressive output. When I'm, I am doing this, I can feel the amount of torque, and actually it's not a lot. So I could put another chain of gears on there and take it up to, what, 21 times, uh, 80 times, whatever. Certainly I could get more out of there, and then we would get some super crazy output. But the output we're getting at the moment, I'm pretty pleased with anyway. So I hope you enjoyed the video so far. Thank you very much for watching, and please do remember to like and subscribe.